And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Wednesday morning, the 16th of November, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. If we start off in the second book of Corinthians, chapter 5, I am reading from verse 18. And he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. And then we go to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9. Jesus says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Reconciliation, making two people friendly again. (laughs) That's what the Oxford Dictionary says, making two people friendly again. That's what Jesus did. He reconciled us with our Heavenly Father. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And you'll find that in John chapter 3, verse 16. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ came down from heaven to do, to reconcile man with God. You know, our farm is called Shalom. Now, Shalom is a Hebrew word, for peace. In Zulu, we say ukutula, and in Afrikaans, we say frieda. Father God has called you and I to become peacemakers, but not peace lovers. You see, that's different, because a peace lover will do anything to have peace. A peace lover will compromise his or her faith, or morals even, for peace. And of course, it never lasts, as we know. I want to say to husbands and wives today, just talk to each other. Sit down, have a cup of coffee, and talk it out. It might even save your marriage. We need to speak to each other. The devil doesn't want us to talk to each other, you see. And he wants us to build up resentment against each other. I've even heard some couples say, you know, we've got the blue room. Isn't that ridiculous? (laughs) That's where I go to sleep if I'm not talking to my wife or I'm not talking to my husband. That is terrible. Sit down, have that cup of coffee, and sort it out, okay? I can hear somebody saying, but it's not my fault. That doesn't matter. You have hurt that person. Go and ask them to forgive you. A good starting point, and that goes for employers. Sit down with your staff and explain to them why you are having to take such a line of action, and then work from there. Dad, sit down with that rebellious son and tell him, why you are going to discipline him and then discipline him firmly and then love him and he'll grow into be a peacemaker today we need to sow peace like never before jesus bless you and have a wonderful day goodbye